Hey guys, this is Izam and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, this will be a very quick uh, tutorial. Well, actually it's not a tutorial. I'm just revealing to you my steps, my, my thought process of how to do this. Uh, this Chrome letterings are done. I did it earlier using Affinity Designer in my previous video. So you can check that out. The thing about Vectorator is that it's very different from Affinity Designer where Affinity Designer has strokes where you can apply gradient colors to it. Vectorator doesn't have it, so we're gonna have to do a work around. Now keep in mind that what I'm doing right now is have a work around using whatever that I have to, to, to solve a problem, right? So let's get to it and let's go. All right, so hey guys, so today we're gonna do this. This is the chrome effect that you see here being done in Vectorator. So I'm going to run through how I did this. If you are interested on the Affinity Designer version, you can look at the, the video that I did. So I'm going to show you my layers here. So I've got a few layers here which I've not labeled. And uh, here we go. This is, I'm going to, let me just hide all this first. Okay, so we begin with the basic text we have the gradient being applied here so take note of this okay so the gradient that i have here looks like this okay so what you need to do is set the gradient fill to linear and these are the colors so take note of these okay the top one is this. This is the code for that color. So you can see that it begins with a very dark blue color over here at the top. So make sure you adjust your gradient handle like that. All right. So it blends in with the background, see, very dark. And then followed by this color, which is this. This is the code for this. So take note of that. So set your color for the moment to this and then followed by this. Okay, this is the color which is here and this is the code and then followed by this one right in the middle. Okay, which is here and this is the color and followed by a lighter hue of that color which is this one and this is the code and then followed by this. This color is similar to this one but of a different hue and this is the code and finally we got this it's a darker shade of blue and this is the code so set your gradient handle like that okay dark transition to light then dark again transition to light and dark and that's done okay so the most important thing that you need to take note of is this the gradient okay the colors as well as the gradient handle over here so very important gradient handle and these these colors here now the next thing that you need to take care of is the outline where the shine comes in right so to do that um, in affinity designer it is easily done by using um, the stroke where you can set the stroke is as a, uh, a gradient fill, I mean a gradient color, right? But in the case of Vectorator, you cannot have um, a gradient fill for the stroke, okay? A stroke is just a solid color. So that's the problem that we have to overcome. So you have to remember that when it comes to um, apps like these, you have to think um, outside of the box and try to have a workaround. So the workaround that I had was this. So take a look at this. So we're done with the main text. Okay. So this one, I'm just going to put main text. Remember, do not add a stroke to this main text. All right. So very important. Do not add a stroke. Now we're going to duplicate this main text. I want you to rename this main text as outline. Alright, so turn this main text off 
and now what you see is just this. I'm going to select all these. I'm going to set the color to a solid color like that. All right. Okay, so the main text is still here, so you can see, right? So I want you to do this. Get this outline and drag it below your main text like that. Okay, if you, I know you don't have all these layers, so just try to ignore all these first, okay? Don't worry about all these. So what you should have is just these two things, the main text and the outline. So very important, lock this main text so that you don't accidentally move it and get this outline, make sure it's um, just one color and then make sure you select this, okay? Go to the style and now go to the stroke and turn this on, okay? So that you can see the stroke. Can you see it? It's like that. Now it is very important that you don't set the stroke too thick like that it won't it won't look good okay so the best that i found is like that about 4.5 or 6 something like this maybe 5 let's set it to 5 and then make sure you don't have any blur or anything like that yet so now that we've done that i want you to do this go to this path and then here tap here create outline from text so as you can see, you see, it is now there are now bounding box around each letter here. I'm not sure whether you can see in this camera, okay? But you will see it. Now that we have this, what you need to do is to check your layers and confirm. See, one, two, three, all these are in separate letters. Go to the path panel and then tap outline so now you can see they are all having all the outlines only okay the insides are empty so now is the best time for you to do this to check on the style and make sure that there is no stroke you can't have any more stroke but if you want to you can have it but if you do have the stroke remember we cannot apply any gradient colors on the stroke so there is no point in turning this on Okay, now is the time where we fill in the gradient colors for these outline that you see here. Okay, so to make our life easy, okay, since it's now separated into individual um, letters, so what we need to make sure is to combine them, okay, into one solid object, like that. See? So that it is easier to apply the gradient so one time apply to all of this so let's go ahead and do this apply the linear gradient and you can see the linear gradient handle let me just tap here select all of this okay and then tap this gradient bring it up over here and here over here okay so now let's check on the style panel and this this the first color on top it should be white like that okay and followed by the last one which is also white so very important take note the top and the bottom color must be white but somewhere in the middle over here also white so you just tap on just tap here but set the opacity to zero like that and move it over here okay so it's, it's white transition down to alpha zero okay then tap here this is the middle one and we want this to be full on opaque okay full on opacity so full opacity zero opacity back to full and then zero so we need to set this to zero and this to full okay make sure this is full so that's that's it but one final thing okay to make it look um we don't 
in vectorator we don't have a glow effect okay but what we do have is the blur so we need to make use of that so make sure you select all of this the outline select the style now we're going to set the blur okay just tap and drag over here now when you set the blur it becomes rather thin i mean the you see what i mean it is not very strong the color is not very bright it doesn't look like it's glowing it's like it's fading out so to add more you know impact on this what i did was i basically just slide over to the left tap here and duplicate that and duplicate again there you have it now there's some glitch here on this app where it's not really updating the effect immediately after i duplicate so you need to to move around or some tap somewhere around here okay then it will update itself so that's it so here we can see the effect of a of a glow so this is my method in doing this this is a, basically a workaround because we cannot do a gradient color for the stroke if we can it will be much easier as you can see i do have the star over here this is basically i'm just going to rename this a star okay so this is basically as you, can you see it right when i when i zoom in like this it is actually made up of a, i actually grouped it right it's actually made up of this a rectangle like that so let's ungroup that and group them and uh, let you see okay so it's made up of i'm just going to unblur this like that a rectangle followed by there is no stroke followed by a fill this is the color the outer the top color and the bottom is actually white but i set the opacity to zero the middle color is white and the opacity is to the fullest and i duplicate this copy this rotate it make it into a cross okay and that's how it's done oh and one more thing i actually blurred this so let's blur that something like that So I hope that was useful. So I hope that Vectorator improves this app and have uh, the option for you know having gradients on strokes. So until then, we sh we have to make do with this. So if you have uh, a different technique that is much easier, you can uh, let me know and by writing down in the comments below. So until then, I hope you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do give it a like if you do like this video. And uh, I'll see you then. Goodbye.